Hey, this is Glenn Gallatin, president of the Phoenix Scooter Club. I'm here with, you know, this guy, Robot. And you know where we're at. We're at, the, uh, where are we at? Uh, Scooter, uh, Scooter West, West. Vespa yeah. Motorsport. Vespa Motorsport. I always put sports on the end, but it's not Vespa Motorsport. Here's the important thing. These are the two raffle bikes finally have them together. This was a... Uh, this is almost a thousand miles of driving in the last day here and uh, a ton of work by this guy here and Alex thank you guys so we have help me with these two bikes all this right that one right here to my left um, probably in the camera it's gonna be on the right this is a Stella a two-stroke Stella it's a pretty rare occurrence they even find these in California because they were never imported to California uh, but this is the first shifty scooter to come back kind of to America before uh, Vespa. Vespa pretty much left in 1981 is the story and they just couldn't meet the emissions regulations. And then we have Phil McCaleb of uh, Scooter Works and he started Genuine Scooters and this is the first product he brought in. This is of course my favorite of the shifty scooters out of uh, Genuine Scooters uh, being two stroke. It's very, very similar to the Vespa P200 and the PX. It's got a 150cc motor. Uh, it's made by LML of India. They're no longer in business, but this is a very, very clean example in a rare color with around 1,500 miles. And you can check out all my videos on the Vespa Motorsport right. YouTube. There's three, there's three videos he's done. So whoever gets this bike, this guy has gone through every inch of it. So you're getting a perfect Stella. So, it's pretty uh, pretty so nice. I can I can attest to it. Valuable raffle prize here. Um, you know, got to keep in mind, it's almost a 20 year old scooter, but it really did not need much to get it back on the road. But I've made it nice and safe. It's got new fluids, new tires, and some other little bits on it. So, right here on my right, or probably on the left on the video, is the first large frame Vespa, automatic Vespa, and they call it the GT200. Uh, in North America, I think they brought it around 2006 is when they first started bringing this in here to North America. It's a fairly clean example. It's got 3,800 miles, pretty low miles. It's got a carbureted engine. Uh, the newest GTS is kind of the same frame geometry as this. Obviously, a new GTS is several generations newer, like about five generations newer than this. But this is where the freeway capable Vespa started. So this is out for raffle as well. A very nice example in the Midnight Blue, which is, happens to be probably one of the most rare colors for the GT200, with the exception of the purple, which is the coolest color. <laughs> well, again, thank you guys for helping us out. Make sure you sign up for a Mary Vespa. You need to register. Hotels are almost, uh, the hotel at the discount rate's almost sold out. We're gonna be taking over most of that hotel. It's a beautiful hotel, by the way. The raffle tickets will be on sale once you get to a Mary Vespa. I believe the drawing is going to be at the banquet Saturday night. You're gonna be there. You'll help us pull the tickets. And uh, thanks again, everyone. I can't thank uh, Scooter West enough for, for uh, helping us uh, get these bikes ready to go and uh, for everything they're doing for Mary Vespa. So we'll see you there in Flagstaff. And if you're looking to register, uh, Vespa Club of America. All you do is search it on Google and it will take you right to the right place. Sign up for Vespa Club of America and you can register for the rally from there. See you on the next one. Robot here.